Where's my ultimate? 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 Oh, wait. <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome. You know what? I'm not. This is off. <laughs> what I need to sit there. Okay, go. <laughs> it. Hi, guys. Welcome Hi to my guys. channel. I'm here with Debbie. Obs. Um, yeah, sorry. I had to move because I just feel off. Like, I'm usually here when I'm filming. Yeah. I'm usually here. <laughs> She's just like, yeah. Is that so? <laughs> um, so yeah, so here, today I'm going to be filming a question and answer video with Debs here. He's going to be helping me answer some of you guys, you guys' and her. Uh, yeah, some of my followers but, as well. Hi guys, so obviously uh, this is coming out like early in the year, like this will probably be my first video of the year and um, I wanted to have like a video but also like a, a mini 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 life update at the beginning of it. So uh, basically I will be working with a few companies this year which is really exciting and one of those companies will be Ultimate who you may have seen in my Dubai vlog. I'm going to be working with them quite a bit this year and so I thought I'd bring Debbie in on the mix to taste some. Um, if you haven't heard of Ultimate, it's a, it's a malt company. It's 100% natural and it's got vitamin B in it. Oh my gosh, it's fizzing! Oh yeah. no, it was in my brother's car. It's <laughs> after like, yeah, just um yeah, that is good. That's <laughs> good. You it's, can tell it's natural though. Like if you're vegan or if you're a vegetarian, like it's perfect for you. Oh, really? It's 100% natural, so. Yeah. See, I was trying to go vegan. That's not going to be good for me because then I can still drink. If you do want to know more about Ultima, I will leave all of their links below. And they also have like, occasionally they'll have like really cool giveaways and stuff. So do follow them on social media so you can keep up with all of their stuff. So I'll link their website and their social media below. Okay, let's get into the video. My friend is in year 10, but is is born in summer, so she's one of the youngest. Is it okay for her to be with a boy? Okay, okay. Oh, That's it's right. where this is going. Okay, 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 is it okay for her to be with a boy who is in year 12, but born in autumn, so he's one of the oldest? Year 12 I mean, is, is year 12? That's the first year, year 10 of college. Year 10 to year 12. I don't think there's really anything wrong with that. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Well, how old is year, year 10? 10? Exactly. Sorry. That's 15. <laughs> okay. No, and it's not. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's even 14. It's even 14, Yeah, Seth. 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and 14, how old is and college? He, college? College is 16 to 17. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's probably seven. He's one of the oldest. So yeah, so it's probably oh, she just put the age? Yeah, yeah. no, she just put in the age. Um... I mean, you can advise your friend not to go there yet because she's too young. Can I just say that it's not legal? Yeah, it's not yeah. legal. <laughs> it's not legal. But on a moral side as well, like, come on, guy. Like, I, I mean, oh, I don't know. Let me just not go into this. Because, because if I feel she's like 16, all over the tier. if she's under 16, she's under it's the age under of, age, of yeah. consent. And I just feel like at 15, I wasn't mature enough to be with a 17, almost 18 year, year old. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I wasn't either. I, What's he I wasn't even in a girl this yeah, age. I wasn't even. And is there not girls in his in form? his age? Yeah, no, that's I weird. feel like I wasn't mature enough to even be in a relationship, not to talk of someone that was a couple of years older than me. But maybe he's not mature enough anyway. So he guys are not usually mature, but it's, true, true, it's true, the law for true, a reason. True. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, and guys, ugh, I don't know. You don't want to go and get yourself pregnant at a young age, man. Because these guys at that young young age, you're right. They're immature. They don't think of stuff like. Because I'm not. I know you might just be thinking of it in a relationship as well. You, you guys might get carried away with yourself, and there's STIs, there's getting pregnant at a young age, there's getting your heart broken and getting depressed because girls that young can't, can't, you can't yeah, 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 can't process those exactly. feelings, those yeah, feelings and emotions. There's, there's it's just, just too, so much to consider. Too early. And he's just not mature enough either. So I just don't see a point. It's very creepy. Yeah. Question. Yeah, okay, okay we can go me. to my one because my one's not as ratchet. <laughs> Um, okay, so, oh, someone just sent one to me now as well. Okay. okay, someone said, how old were you when you graduated? Um, I was 22. Yeah, I was 22. How old was I? I don't remember. Probably, yeah, 21, 22. Yeah, <laughs> I was definitely 22. Yeah. Um, because, oh, because I saw you, you, because I'm sure I saw you post something once about how uni was a hard time. I'm currently still in uni, although I'm over 21, 22, and I wanted to know how you stayed motivated. Um, I guess she's dealing with being one of the oldest in her year. Maybe like she was like held, held back. back. So with me, um, like I did a whole video on why I almost failed my degree. I'll list it below if you haven't seen, link it below if you haven't seen it. Um, but basically, um, it, I ended up just taking a gap, a gap year in the middle. It, 
uh, yeah, so I ended up taking a gap year and then doing loads of experience, but that, that made me like one of the oldest in my year. Yeah. But for me, I didn't really feel it and like... It's a uni, I don't feel like you'll feel, really feel depends it Depends the people she's around. It's Maybe. only if you're like comparing yourself to the fact that people are younger than you. Because in my year, I had Nigerians who had come and they were... Yeah, they are older, of, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 yeah. they were a couple of years younger because oh. they finished school earlier. And in Nigeria, like when I first came to this country, I was ahead of my class kind of thing. So they came at, I think it was 16 to uni they came to uni so young so i just feel like it, yeah you're right depends wow. who you're around and stuff yeah but i fully didn't even care like my your your lane is just your lane you need to focus on yourself i don't know i what mean did you do? um the people around me were really mature the like the students that i chilled with in third year they were very mature but there were times where i would i would feel a little bit older and i would feel a little bit more ex experienced because I'd, I'd taken a gap year i'd seen mm. the, i'd literally seen the world i traveled yeah. during that year as oh, well did you? yeah oh, went to cool. Brazil. It was amazing. Oh, wow. um so i so you have a different pers not to say i'm better but i had mm -hmm. a different perspective in a way i i was a year ahead of them because yeah. i'd had a year outside mm -hmm. of uni like working for myself everything so oh. it was different but i guess as you said just stay in your lane focus on you and focus on where you're getting to and yeah. don't be distracted by anything else and as my dad always says like in 10 years no one's gonna know the difference i know that's what i always think of as well when something bad happens like in 10 years no one's really gonna, gonna care. care no one's gonna care nobody like you'll all be contemporary exactly so. so i used to be really sure of myself i know that i didn't need no man but recently after coming out of a six month situation she which I was deeply involved in I can't seem to be without a man I'm constantly trying to find the man at time and at times I even think I just want a man even just to have sex with I've never, <laughs> okay? yeah yeah I just <laughs> I'm not laughing at your situation I promise so I just choked a little yeah you look like you swallowed a pill yeah um I've never experienced this constant want and need for a male so I just don't know what to do on top of that I'm a Christian a celibate one at that so i don't know where, why i'm where, having where? all these thoughts oh she's she's thinking to have yeah sex she's with thinking men. just to have sex okay. with me, yeah my sex drive is also very high i've prayed about it but also wanted to ask if there are any practical things you guys could suggest i've i've slightly touched on this in my um pornography in how to overcome pornography video yeah i feel like i don't know how I'll to answer that. this so i'm gonna like <laughs> i'll just leave it to you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um in terms of well, I've been celibate for, well, forever. <laughs> I'm a virgin. Anyway, that was just a personal joke. Um, I understand the struggle. It is obviously different. I think what she's saying is that she was sleeping with him before. No, 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 she was in she a situation I thought a situation was... No, a situation sleeping with... You, nah, they're not. The situation is basically having a situation Where, like, you're not together, but you're together kind of thing like, without, without the labels it doesn't yes without label but there's still something you guys are still talking to <sighs> like it's so that's why it's a situation because it's not official but you, you guys are still seeing each other and whatever right. and then most of the time the girl is not allowed to do anything but then the guy is basically like guys will make out like, when you just gonna trash yeah I'm exactly joking. no i'm sorry <laughs> i said that in my last video sorry sorry Thank you. um yeah so basically like with me, when I was in a situation, whenever I would do something, he'll pull up, oh, but we're meant to be this, we're meant to be that. If he did something and I tried to pull up on him, he'll be like, but we're not official though, but we're not official though. That's how it's the situation. It's like having your cake so it doesn't have to be, Yeah, it doesn't have to be sex involved at okay. all. So she, I think she's a virgin because she says she's a celibate, or she's celibate anyway, she's a celibate Christian and she's having those thoughts, thoughts. and her sex drive uh, is like really high, high. or whatever. But I do feel like your sex drive can be high even if you're a virgin and stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely. You know? I mean... And there's other stuff that, you know, you can, can in influence. In I mean, in terms of practicality, for me, like, one of the first things... I didn't even do it myself. I just genuinely felt like God was doing it for me. Is I, I cut out so much of what I was listening to. In fact, for about three months, I didn't listen to secular music. I didn't, li I didn't watch secular shows. As in, I was literally only on YouTube watching Bible because oh, wow. like really sometimes you really need to cleanse it out of you because you can't say if you're in your car yeah and you're like oh you know what let me just put on like kiss 100 or whatever these okay. if i put on the radio and I, i'm like okay it's only the radio but mm -hmm. then they start playing i don't know like trey songs or division so say <laughs> if, if that type of stuff comes on and then you start thinking do you know what i mean like you have to be very aware of what you're letting into your soul so in yeah. terms of practice practical steps i would say cut some of the, not forever, I'm not saying forever, but mm -hmm. some people do cut it out forever, but yeah, it, it doesn't help. I know some people do, I'm like, how do you do it? 
It's actually all right. I mean, I've listened to go uh, listening to gospel only for three months wasn't that bad. I genuinely enjoyed. I it. do enjoy some gospel songs. I'm not gonna lie, I've quite a few on my own. And there's so phone. there's so much out there. Like right. there's, there's hip, there's Christian hip hop. There's like everything. Mm. But yeah, so in terms of that, I would definitely say stick to that. And I would also say like get into your word more and maybe like get into the church a bit more. Like I, I'm only saying that because that's what she seems like she wants. She wants to. And she, anyway. she said she's prayed about it as well. And I feel like what it is is that she's got a void missing, so she needs to find out how she can fill that void. Maybe starting a new hobby, and that will like bring new people into your life. I yeah. don't know if you like to dance. I don't know, maybe doing some new dance classes, or maybe going to the gym. You'll meet friends in these things, yeah. and I feel like that will kind of fill a void if you try and keep yourself really, really yeah. busy. Because you're not a, a man is not so, you're not supposed to have a void for your, a man in your yeah. life. Like a man, because that's what opinion, it is. He I'm should be an accessory. He should be an accessory. He's yeah. dessert. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? He's not the main meal. You watching um what's his name? What's Megan Good's husband's name? Oh, name? Devon Frank. Yeah, because he was doing someone was saying about like him. you know being single and whatever and he was like how you should it should be two whole people yeah, coming, coming together. together. It shouldn't be like, you know, you're you've got this void and you're like half of and you're searching yeah. for and that becomes that a problem be because that per person turns into an idol yeah. and you start worshipping that person when yeah. really God should be at the centre of your life. Yeah. So yeah, and, and just work on yourself as well in the meantime because I feel like when I was single, that's what I wanted to do. I was like, I want to be the best me that I can be for my yeah. next relationship. So I feel like if you focus on that instead of trying to just feel that's what, what I did every when I came out of a relationship. It's so yeah, useful. It's just, yeah, Focusing like, on like, yourself. Exactly. And Focusing like, yourself, your hobbies, gifts. pray, church, Bible, like she said, try, your life. Yeah, travel, travel. Exactly. go out with your friends, see your friends, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like that will help take the the focus of him yep. and then before you know it some the perfect it. guy will walk will kiss it's your life when you're not when you're not looking looking yep but what do you do when your family members are not good for you girl <laughs> i don't <laughs> think i went now i haven't finished oh, oh. <laughs> for example it? they in no way edify you and are for all intents intents and purposes toxic to your life should we just let it should we just let it go because they are family? P.S. Keep this anonymous. Love you both. Oh, bless Aww. her. Um, yeah. Um, some t you know, Oprah did a really good segment on this where she talked about how she's cut like family members out of her life, but and she's been like, return to me when you have sense. <laughs> <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't say cut them out, but I definitely say distance if you can. If you don't live with them, mm -hmm. definitely distance them. They're not good for you. Mm. Like, there's it doesn't matter. It's it's almost like someone next to you who has the flu. You oh, might yeah. love the person, but mm -hmm. you need to be away from them arm's because length. if be mm -hmm. well, you need to keep them at arm's yeah, length. because otherwise you'll get sick as well, and mm -hmm. it's the same thing for like mental health or spiritual or just mm -hmm. your 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 well being. If they're not good for you, just keep them at a distance. Yeah, that makes sense. I remember you tweeted. Sorry, I'm a Twitter freak. See, same. You tweeted something <laughs> about like the toxic family members around the holidays, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so nice of you to tweet that. Oh, but, so yeah. Thanks. Yeah, honest, honestly, just getting if you can getting away from them, and if you can't get away from them, like obviously I've been open with you guys about having a counselor, and one thing I've learned from her is that like if you can't get away from people who are bad for you, the only thing you can't affect their decisions or their actions you can't change that the only thing that you can change or that you have power over is is your reactions mm -hmm. to them so you need to get to the point where you have to stop allowing yourself to be affected by their decisions and their actions the ex-best friend admitted that she was jealous of me and my boyfriend's relationship ever since then i feel like i can't trust her should i still be friends with her Ah, uh, it's not. Yes. Yeah, you should be friends with like, her. Like it's natural. Yeah. <laughs> it's a natural thing, and the fact that she was actually oh, yeah. honest with you. Yeah, exactly. You should trust her more. Yeah, exactly. Like oh. <laughs> You're so are jealous behind you. your back and that's the people you need to watch yeah, out for. But the fact that she confided in you is even yeah. more just just be supportive of her like that. It's yeah. natural. It is definitely natural. I don't think boys do that though. Well, like wanna be in relationships like when they really see their like, boys in relationships. Some do trust me. I remember oh, really? yeah, my ex, like when we used to when it was that like, brand new and all his squad they were like dogs and obviously this was his first <laughs> dogs. <laughs> This was his first real girlfriend and stuff, and all his boys were like, "Oh, I wanna, I wanna have a main girlfriend now." Like, I main, wanna, you know what I mean? Like, cause he cheated. Oh, so now I understand what they meant. Yeah. Because mm. <laughs> when they said main, I was like, "Yeah, their side." Yeah. Like I wanna have. Okay, well, I'm changing his words basically. Like you know, like a real one. I yeah, wanna yeah, have yeah, a. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they 
basically they wanted to have a main girlfriend. So boys, so do, boys do get jealous, yeah. Um, I'm a Nigerian and my mom hates evil people. <laughs> But that's Yo, she's in love with, isn't she? That's how I'm in love with right now. Oh. Should I tell him because he keeps asking me when he'll meet my mom? Oh, sweetie. I know that's like. Should I have told him since? No, I feel like yeah, you should. You should tell him, but obviously, you, just the way you say it, don't just come and be like, oh, my mom hates people. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I think you should tell him, but then also try and check your mom because I feel like at yeah, certain 100%. age. At a certain age, we can start checking our parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Like sis, I check my dad all the time. <laughs> don't, don't say sister. Yes. <laughs> no, but check, yeah, check, check your mom. Like, come on, like it's marriage kind of thing that you're gonna end up being in. Um, so she has to accept him. Yeah, you have to tell her. But that the thing is, if if she doesn't. I mean, it's not like... Then that's another problem, then. I, I feel like... Okay, maybe I'm just oblivious to this whole... Um, what's it called? Tribe, tribe, tribe stuff, because I've not experienced it. Mm. And, yeah, my mum wouldn't care. Yeah, I've, I've never experienced this. So I don't. I, I actually don't know. It. And I nice. see people tweeting about that stuff. It's bad. I mean, maybe maybe Europe, because right? I'm not... Yeah, I'm Yoruba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my mum doesn't mind Igbo. My mum minds Igbo. Not that she doesn't even mind, she doesn't even care. <laughs> my dad would prefer I married a Nigerian in general. Than if Ibo. I could. Are you Ibo or Yoruba? I'm not, I'm Edo. Oh, okay. Yeah. But does, do your parents Although care? I'm, I'm half Edo, half Yoruba. No, my, my parents don't care as long as I marry a Nigerian. Yeah. But even oh, that so is a problem. It has to be a Nigerian. Exactly, even that is a problem. But I don't think they have anything to worry about because I'm like. My mom doesn't care if you come with a purple person. <laughs> Pink. No, but that's how it should be. Like, yeah. it shouldn't, there shouldn't be any prejudice. But um, yeah, you should definitely tell your boyfriend and definitely tell your Check mom. Your Do not introduce your boyfriend yeah, until you've told you've told, yes. yeah, until you've told both, both, both parties. parties. And you need to definitely tell your mum, this is the age where you need to stand your ground and yeah, be like, yeah, 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 you yeah. need to accept him. It's not like there's anything else wrong with him that... Exactly. It's not like he's a bad person. Like, wouldn't your mum rather you marry, like, someone who's Iba and a good person or be with someone who's Iba and, Yoruba yeah, and, and uh, a bad demon. person? Exactly. Like, isn't your happiness the most important thing? Oh, you know? Nigerian parents. But I've definitely had people, like, treat me a certain way because I'm not Yoruba. Are you being serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'll talk in Yoruba so what do, and do they'll be like, oh, um, they'll talk to me in Yoruba, knowing full oh, well that I don't speak God, Yoruba. That is and then they'll so be like, oh, extra. they'll be like, oh, so you don't speak Yoruba? I don't even speak Yoruba. I'd be, like, <laughs> I'd be like, I'm the Edo. I, I, that's the only language I hear. They're like, no, but care. there's people who aren't Yoruba who, who speak Yoruba. Yeah, my dad speaks Yoruba, yeah. even though he's Edo. But yeah. Um, I don't speak Yoruba and I'm Yoruba, like, well, that is so ridiculous. So basically, Yoruba people are, like, uh, trying to be elitist or something. Like, always, what? always done this. That's ridiculous. Have you seen in the wedding party where, like, oh, they yeah, bring yeah, the I saw that, people and I they're saw like, that. we're not... They think that everyone is but just I just, the same. But I just thought that in the movie it was just, like, exaggerated. No, no, that's actually how they, like, um, even though Nigeria is a massive country. Yeah, there's Hausa, there's... My there's, friend, there's, oh, there's almost a, there's I other things to worry tribes. about, you know, than all these rubbish. Ah, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Love you loads. Love you more. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm talking to this guy that I like. We met at a house party and kissed that day. I'm a virgin and don't want to have sex till marriage, but I feel like he's not going to understand, especially since he's always feeling me up when we're together. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Um, blah, 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 where was I, where was I, uh, oh, feeling me out when we were together. Recently, he randomly broke things off, and I was confused and a little bit upset, but I told him <sighs> that it's okay, but he's really paranoid, and so he thinks I have a man, like, he always asking me where I'm going, what I'm doing, who I'm with, red flag. Demon, 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 because demon, demon, he's, he's probably, probably, he's probably doing, doing it, it. That's, that's why, why he's, he's paranoid. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> These men, hmm. better trash. Men are <laughs> du -du 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 trash. trash. <laughs> um, but he's proud of blah, blah. And I think the reason he broke things off with me was because of my snap. <laughs> it's because of my snap of a ring. Um, he probably thinks and bought it for me. These times Why it's from my just best friend. You? But um, where things go mad. There is an old, sorry I'm reading so slow but it's just so long, <laughs> there's an right. old flame that I stopped talking to before I found out he had a girl. He recently came back, I can see a future with this boy but he still has a girl. I'm not going to do anything with, me, with him because I'm not a dickhead but he knows <laughs> I like him yet he brings me chocolate, comes to my house mm? at late hours and has deep conversations with me. This is I really mind. like him but he has a girl, what should I do? Run away! <laughs> Run, Run away! Love. Run away! Ah! Wait, can you not see what he's doing? 
<laughs> he's keeping you <laughs> there for when he needs he, yeah and when at, yeah like if they argue he'll come to this you this is man number two by the way yeah like he's keeping you wait what do you mean because you know there's two guys really that she referenced oh, in the thing damn i didn't even didn't you clock that, that? <laughs> I didn't know what that was going to lie to you. But yeah, I saved it. Because remember, in the beginning, like, she's think... talking to... He broke it off with her. Yeah. And then she said, there's an old flame. Oh. <laughs> ah, I just don't, I'm just going to leave that okay, one to you. Okay, so like. there's the first guy yeah. who was touching her up and stuff. Who yeah, clearly that's just wants to be. Yeah. Trust me, like, guys, many guys, will, many guys end things with me because I wouldn't have sex with them. Same. Well, it's me that you're not for me and you didn't like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my dad always said. Sorry, I was drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then the second guy. So first guy's cancelled. Yeah. Yeah. And the second guy is in a relationship with somebody else, and he keeps on like coming to her and stuff. And no, he's yes. also cancelled. Cancelled. Yeah, yeah, but, but she did say she's got deep feelings for him. Um. Yeah. He's he's problem. Yeah, no, I feel like she needs to just stop talking to him. All yeah. these late night conversations. You, if someone Dead was it. your boyfriend, would you like, like it? it if there were, yeah. Another girl was like um, allowing him to come over, accepting gifts from him. She feelings for him. I know, but this is where cutting him off happens, like yeah. where it works, because once you cut him off, it'll be hard for the first few days, but after that, you'll get used to not yeah, having him yeah, around, around, and eventually you will get over it. Yeah. Trust me, like time heals always. always. And just think in your head that you're being a good person for leaving someone else's man alone, do you know what I mean? Like... Think of if it was your man. To think, there's a girl. And karma's real, you know? Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, exactly. The things you do, and I know you probably don't mean it in a bad way as well, but the it just has a way back. of teaching you a lesson. Because yeah. another girl, if you're in a relationship, another girl could be doing these things with your guy and she'll think it's innocent because she just has feelings and she's not doing anything. But, like, it will be hurting you because yeah. you don't want another girl around your man like that. Hi, Debbie. Love your channel. Thank you so much. And the way you work hard is... Oh, let me not pull that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so her dilemma is... Um, basically, I met this guy in... Do you want to read it? Because I feel like I'm just such a slow reader. No, you're not. <laughs> I met this guy in first year and we both really liked each other, but it didn't go any, anywhere because n neither wanted relationships. Fast forward two, two years and he's... Bloody heck. He's back from a year abroad and just broke up with his girlfriend of one year who he's still in love with. Red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> um, but when but we wanted to meet up and he always says he really likes me. Red flag. And I like mm -hmm. him too, but he's still in love with his ex. Um, oh, how can he like you? Should I... <laughs> Sorry, should, should, um, should I wait for him to get over her because he's such a perfect guy or just dead the whole thing and leave it? A man Rebound. cannot serve two masters. Rebound. Yeah. Rebound. That's what's. That's Although she did me. say that he liked her before. No. <laughs> Trust Sis. me. I've liked someone before, and then when I've broken up with my man, I just needed someone there. Right. Even if I'm not. True. Even if I'm not trying yeah, to use yeah, as a yeah, rebound, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just how it ends uh, up happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he's just trying to like forget about her using you. He said he's still in love. Or in, in ah, love. love. What's love compared to love? Like, sis. <laughs> sis. 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 If she calls him now, he will start running. He'll run back to he'll her. Run back to her. If he says, cut that girl off forever, I don't ever want you to talk to that girl again. You won't be able to do it. Exactly. Hey. Yeah, so, dead it. I just feel like you need to just... Yeah. I hate to sound so harsh, but it's just... I feel like sometimes you need someone to just, you know, shake you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just be like, girl, is she crazy? <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. We filmed a video on Debbie's channel. Um, yeah, by the time I've done this, her video will be out as well. So I will link all of Debbie's like social media platforms below and the video on our video on her channel will be yeah. below. So please do go and watch that. It was lit. I love making it. Yeah. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching and go and subscribe to her channel as well. Bye, Bye guys. guys.